Andrea, and I'm super excited to bring you along because I'm gonna clean my oven. Not that one. I don't, I don't, it's too hot for that. I don't have time for that. And I don't want to heat up my house to cook what I've got coming up next. So, hmm, what do I do? I'm gonna go clean my All-American Sun Oven and get it ready for a cook, get it all set up. And I wanna show you how easy it is because in the next video, I'm gonna bring you along for a Sun Oven cook. If you guys have never heard of these, they totally work off the sun. Um, as long as you have, uh, are able to produce a shadow, you can cook in this. So, uh, today we have full sun and here in Nevada we have 345 days of sunshine. So, uh, it makes perfect sense for me to own one. Anyways, I've had mine for about four years now and uh, I absolutely love it. So, I want to show you what good shape it's in. It stays outside in the deck box. but. Those deck boxes are not airtight. They get dirt and dust and all kinds of stuff when I'm in and out of it. So it does get dusty and I need to wipe it out uh, you know, once in a while. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to wipe it out, get it clean, get it all set up and get ready for a cook. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I think this is great. I hope that you guys, this is just a prelude to the next video that's coming up. The cook is absolutely easy and delicious. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. All right, let's get out there and do that. And don't forget, if you're interested in the All American Sun Oven, I've got this great coupon code down below. Um, it's still valid. It's $70 off the full entire deluxe package. That's your Sun Oven, your pans you need, your dehydrator kit, everything it takes um, accessory wise for a $70 off coupon. So if all you wanted was just the oven, no cookware, no nothing to go with it, you get a $50 coupon. Uh, to me, that's a pretty good deal and you will not regret it. There's no parts to replace. There's a uh, very easy maintenance. So get yourself a, a thing of Windex or vinegar and water and some paper toweling and let's go clean that oven. Don't need any elbow grease for this one. All right, guys, let's, I'll meet you outside. Okay, so this is where I store my sun oven right here. Right next to the big green egg, there's a deck box. And I've got my wood, smoking wood chunks, the deflector plate for the egg. Um, I've actually got a rocket stove in here as well, but there's the All American. So I'm going to get that out and put it on my table, and I'll let you see what's happening. Okay, before it gets too hot, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And it's about 10 o'clock. Um, the meal that I'm going to be cooking isn't going to take that long, so I'm just going to get it all prepped before it gets too warm, and then I can put that on, and you'll see that video tomorrow. <laughs> so let's get this up. And you can see they're not heavy. This weighs 22, I think, or 22 or 24 pounds, so very lightweight. Um, and I get my Windex or, you know, whatever kind of cleaner you want to use. And... You want to kind of clean these shields up, even though this is the wrong side. You want to get those cleaned up. Now, my glass is dusty, so we can't have that. So let's get our glass all cleaned up so we can see everything clearly. And you only have to do this, you know, when it gets dusty. You don't have to do this every time you cook, but you guys have been asking about the care and maintenance on these, you know, trying to make a decision whether to go ahead and make that purchase. Um, but think about it like this. You don't have to call the Maytag repairman out either. Push that back. Go ahead and open it. And I... As far as the inside goes, I wipe oh. this down with every so there's nothing in here that really, I mean, you can wipe it down again, I suppose, but I don't think it really needs it. Make sure that your thermostat is nice and clean. And like I said, if you do any spilling, because there is a leveling rack that swings freely in there, if you move your... Uh, your oven around too much, you are going to end up, um, sometimes you'll spill something, it'll tip too far and spill. Just wipe it up as soon as you're done with the cook or as soon as you see it. Very easy. So this just hangs in 
and freely levels. Um, I'm not going to be lifting the leveling bar or the, you know, the bar in the back because we are in, you know, it's summertime. In the wintertime, I use that part a lot, but not in the summer. So, okay, I'm getting streaky windows here. I need my spray glass cleaner for that. But, and then I make sure that my reflectors are all dust free, no spills or anything on them. Um, and that's as easy as it is, guys and gals. If you guys have purchased one of these, I know a lot of you purchased uh, these through my link. If you have, let me know if you what you've cooked in it so far. Um, if you've gone to the website and looked up recipes and techniques and all that. I know there's tons of information out there. I just, whatever I cook in a crock pot or my oven, I cook in here. So, and our meal today is gonna be out of here, so. Okay, I am done. That back one's really clean, so I am done getting this ready. So now all I have to do is turn it towards the sun. Now I've got a protection, you know, like a um, liner for your cabinets, inside, inside your cabinets. I've got uh, that underneath this so it doesn't, the bar, leveling bar doesn't scratch up my uh, table out here. So we're all set so I can get this preheated and that's how easy it is to clean your oven. Who doesn't want an oven like that? <laughs> Alright guys, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share it on your Facebook page. Let people know there's other ways to cook out there. And 